Hi and welcome! In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use miter joints to make the frame of your sign. So I'm sure you're wondering what's a miter joint? Well a miter joint is when you connect two boards that are cut and joined at 45 degree angles to make your 90 degree corner. So for this method you're going to use one by material, actual thickness is 3 fourths inch, with a table saw um, a, one, a one by four can be ripped in half to give you the two pieces. Otherwise, you can use a one by two furring strip and it can be used um, with the overall dimensions of three fourths inch by one and one half inch. So you're gonna cut the two boards to length of the sides of your sign with a miter saw at 45 degree angles. So the inside of the miter cuts will be the overall length of your sign you're going to attach them with a thin bead of wood glue and nail them into place with finished nails or brad nails every three inches to ensure that they remain flush with the ends. Now we just prefer using our brad nail gun just because that's our favorite method to use. But feel free to use a hammer and nail, you know, finished nails if that's what you like. Then you're going to measure across the top of your sign. Again, cut the inside um, of the mitered edge. Attach the top pieces in the same manner, ensuring you put two nails at the ends at the miter joint. Um, if you have any overlap, it can definitely be sanded flush with a palm sander, so don't worry too much about that part. Um, it, it can definitely be fixed with um, a sander, and I've actually had that happen to me quite a few times. And the end result using a sander is actually, it's, it's pretty nice actually. It gives it a nice little rounded edge then again, I'm also a firm believer that distressing and using a sander on any of your frames helps anyway. So other than that, just add some hangers and hang this beauty up.